Oh. <laughs> well, I, I hit the mute button, so an artful, beautiful exit to that <laughs> music. Uh, welcome to D20 Dames, Downtime with the Dames. My name is Jen Vaughn. My pronouns are she, they. And we are here to eat Pierre's Adventures in French. But before we start, 
uh, we will be doing a little bit of Jen's adventures in France. If this is your first time joining us, uh, D20 Dames is a, a podcast uh, I'm presenting uh, mostly women of color, um, and we use D&D, Dungeons & Dragons, as our storytelling device currently. We just finished our uh, Wanderleaf Season 1. Sorry, <laughs> I've, I've used words before. Um, our Wanderleaf Season 1 series where we all played tweens. And today, any moment now, we will also be launching our uh, Brindlewood Bay uh, mini-series, uh, the one that I am the keeper of game master and the rest of the dames are playing grandmas so we're switching it up uh, and it's a lot of fun we'll be streaming our next session um, continuing the adventure of dad overboard uh, this Sunday actually on this channel right here but before that oh and hello Jacob and hello socialist so good to see you so good to see you, all the friends um, but before we get back to Brindlewood Bay we've got some some stuff to take care of over in the land of Pierre um, but first, where have I been? In France. I know you're very excited about that. So, um, <laughs> um, as a not surprise, I don't know if it's a surprise, but, um, I, I do kind of like theme parks because I really love world building. Um, it feels like comics come to life sometimes with like the fake sets and stuff. Um, obviously they're not great for the environment, <laughs> but, um, my cousin visited uh, recently and uh, she works at Disney in the US and so we visited Disneyland Paris uh, which was a lot of fun. Um, here is uh, the main castle, I guess Cinderella's castle is what it always is. Um, and there is, they had these the series of beautiful sculptures and of course I forgot to look up who it was, but these beautiful wire and metal sculptures of all the characters. So this one is Merida from uh, Brave, of course you can't see, but she's got her little bow and arrow. It was very beautiful. I've got a couple others in here because I was very much in love with them. Of course we've got a girl, Ursula, and got her hair perfectly blends into the trees in the background. Um, but you know I love our fat queen, as a fat queen myself. So also my little video is too big. I don't know if you can see me that much. Okay. Um, and these were, they were twirling too, so it was very gorgeous. Um, they had a lot of characters um, throughout this main courtyard. Um, yeah, very, very pretty. Um, here we've got, uh, I believe that's the ship, that's uh, from Moana, I like some water. Uh, we have Ariel, of course, <laughs> big Little Mermaid fan. Um, I'm that red edge. Um, although, of course, you know, the story of a, you know, girl chasing some tail, if you will, or, you know, leaving home for a crush was a little like, okay. <laughs> <laughs> Felt silly, but still a lot of fun. Um, hey, Andy, so good to see you. Yeah, these sculptures are beautiful. Um, I'm sure actually if you go online, let me actually do it myself right now, but um, you can you can see all of them. Um, sculptures. I'm sure it's like a um, Gardens of Wonder. Nope, that's a different sculpture. Nope, Gardens of Wonder Sculpture Garden, Disneyland Paris. Um, oh boy, they share the Dumbo one right off the bat, and it is terrifying looking. I would not do that. Um, <laughs> uh, there's 30 of them. Ba, 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 ba. Okay, they don't attribute it to anyone. Uh, okay, so I guess it's a team of people. Mm -hmm. Okay, but anyway, um, yeah, it was a gorgeous time. Um, I'm not as what, what you would call a like Disney head. I don't even know what they call themselves. A Disney adult, whatever, but uh, again, I really love world building and <laughs> sets, um, you know, coming from a background in theater. Uh, so like this was the inside of the castle in the main area, which is gorgeous, like this trees and oh my God, that ceiling. Uh, and then around they had these like uh, little uh, tapestries from Cinderella. Do, do, do. Wait, what did I just show you? But more importantly, was underneath this castle, there was an actual dragon. It was gorgeous. Uh, it was the best, the best ride there. Not even a ride, just something that you would see. You know, its eyes are glowing, it's letting out smoke. You know, people are taking pictures. Let, just let this dragon sleep. Like, so in love with this little dragon. Um, big dragon, I guess, technically. Uh, yeah, absolutely gorgeous. Um, 
can send myself the video right now so you can uh, see it. Uh, I do have some videos I'll show you in a minute. Um, hee hee. So yeah, uh, I will say it was interesting though, being and living in France now, uh, <laughs> seeing the Disneyland version of France because it's very uh, different. It's, I mean, a lot of the stuff in Disney, you know, um, Beauty and the Beast, um, pro probably some of Cinderella and stuff like these castles and these European towns. A lot of them are like this French architecture that I've been seeing and visiting here. Um, and so it was very, I mean, I won't say wild, but it was just interesting to see like a clean version of it um, marketed to people uh, again, but very fun and like, uh, a worthwhile experience, obviously. Sorry, I'm taking this dragon video. Did I take a dragon video? Of course I did. Okay. Send. Okay. Sweet. Um, let's see. Can I send it? Go. Go. Hey, Andy. <laughs> uh, hey, Wrench Bro. <laughs> okay. Let me show you the dragon right now. Let me show you these videos in context instead of after all the pictures, because that'd be silly. Oop. Cool. Good news. The audio is loud. Um, and then let me turn on the screen and pull it all the way up. Oop, oop, oops. Oops. Oh, there it is. Okay. Come on. Why you gotta be like that? There we go. I'm gonna turn, yeah, so if you're looking at it from the side, they had like a second floor you could watch from as well. Just watch. Guy. Yeah. Yeah, exactly. That's a Dargan. If I've ever seen one. Um, all right, let me just turn this bad boy off. I'll come back to you. Um, yeah, so interesting to see uh, Disney France, because obviously, you know, it's a different experience, including um, <laughs> this section for the Ratatouille uh, ride and restaurant. Uh, <laughs> I was like, wow, this is really like the Fran Bordeaux that I'm living in, except I'm like, where's all the dog poop? There's a lot of dog poop here. Um, <laughs> uh, at least in the, the, uh, the summer. Yeah. So very, uh, yeah, again, gorgeous, but very s weird because obviously my cousin Sarah had been, uh, going out, um, in France as well. Uh, you know, it wasn't like she'd only seen, uh, <laughs> Disney. So it was very, uh, very interesting. Um, oh, Andy, you like to call big scary things buddy. Absolutely, because you know what? That dragon is our bud. Like, don't get it, don't get it twisted. So, oh yeah, obviously me on a Vespa, they had some fake motorcycles and, well not fake, but just on the ground so you could again pretend you were out in the wild. How is, is this video like, okay. Picture quality is like okay on the stream. All right, anyway. Um, do, 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 being silly. Okay, also, so then another ride that I thought you would enjoy. So in addition to fake Paris or fake France, there was also fake United States. There was a ride, um, and again, because my cousin works in Disney and has visited uh, both Disneyland and Disney World a bunch, um, again, because working at one of them, uh, she knew like some of the, you know, I'd be like, oh, is there something similar to this? So this was sort of like the back lot tour. Um, at one of Disney World of Disneyland's where there's like an explosion or whatever in it, but it was uh, the Cars theme. It was called like Cars Route 66. So like pretending you're in the US and they're like, Americans love cars and like, you know, and big old road trips, which I mean, not wrong. Love a road trip. Um, people, but the train is so much better for the environment, but you know, there's a train system here. There isn't a great, you know, the, there is Amtrak in the US, but like it doesn't go everywhere, you know? Um, so uh, this was the uh, I fuel, like the letter I, heart fuel, like gas tower, which is very cute as part of it. And then um, uh, 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 <laughs> uh, while you're driving on this very long fake truck, or maybe it was a real truck, but like uh, had like the, you know, the, the front of like a 18 wheeler, um, they had, of course, billboards 
for haunts and things. Uh, I did not, it's been a long time since I've seen the Cars movie, so I don't remember if these were actually <laughs> uh, from the, the movie, probably. But I mean, roadside attractions are like part of the reason for going on a road trip. It's like, yeah, I want to see the world's largest pistachio in uh, somewhere in New Mexico. I've been there and it was great. The pistachio wine was good. Um, yeah, I was going to say that Amtrak is kind of expensive. I got like a coach seat for when I go back to the U.S. in a couple weeks and I was like, oh, um, but still, I don't want to ride the pl don't want to ride planes if I can just because of multiple reasons. So yeah, um, but yeah, this was cute. Um, and then you pull into like this gulch valley <laughs> with all the gas. And of course it like catches on fire again. Like that's part of the attraction. Like the truck itself that you're on is like on some sort of, uh, I don't know what it's called. Um, uh, not hide, not hide. Not hydraulics, but some sort of track. It got on a track, so then all of a sudden we were like, whoa. It was like we were, like there was some sort of uh, earthquake and stuff, and then that's why everything caught on fire. But it was just funny because I was just like, yes, so everything is on fire. This is the U.S. <laughs> all the French people were being like, ooh, ooh, ooh. No, no, they were having a nice time. Um, oops, and I don't know how these pictures got in here. Sorry, that's me being silly. Uh, obviously, I was there mostly for the dark rides, um, as in Phantom Manor which I guess they chose because Le Manoir Hanté doesn't have quite the same like assonance as Phantom Manor. Uh, and then obviously the Hollywood Tower of Terror, which, oh boy, I, oh, I didn't include the image of the insect. Oh, anyway, I, I love that ride. I remember going to it in Florida when it opened uh, and yeah, I was all about it. Um, and then uh, I don't really have any pictures of it because uh, less interesting for me than the, you know, um, some other stuff. But the thing I thought that was interesting uh, in the Marvel section, because, you know, Disney owns Marvel now, which, by the way, I hope Disney, I hope that mouse spits Ron, Ron DeSantis' bones into the ocean, to quote a friend. So uh, Disney is obviously uh, uh, not without its own faults, but boy, I really hope they can take down Ron DeSantis. What a terrible person. He's trying to create... He's trying to make trans people, you know, illegal in the state of Florida and just absolutely egregious uh, stuff he's doing. But anyway, <laughs> take him down, Disney. Um, and then the Marvel section for the rides, it was interesting because they would have um, uh, people speaking in, uh, in French and English. Not at the same time, but like every other. So one character would be speaking in French and another character would be speaking in English. It was very interesting um, because uh, all the kids here. Uh, yes, I, I, I know we're all on the same page about Ron DeSantis being an absolute roof. Yeah. Um, <laughs> uh, being one of those mid to big bosses in our lives. Um, uh, but it's interesting because the kids here do have to learn uh, English. Um, there is a seven year old in my life uh, and uh, they started learning English recently and so they were showing off the colors to me the other day, uh, which I was, you know, super surprised and excited because I was like, ooh, I can help you. We also read at the same level in French, so, you know, I'll be like reading the words, reading a book to them and be like, I don't know what this means, but they do, so it's kind of cute. But anyway, and then of course, I could not manage to find in any of my videos an example of this, but what I do have is an example of <laughs> some of the voices. I thought you would enjoy uh, hearing uh, Spider-Man's voice in French because they, what they also do um, when they translate or uh, they subtitle, nope, excuse me, um, when they dub movies, they'll usually have an, um, the same voice actor for that actor. So it's like the person that's been playing like Bruce Willis in like Die Hard is still playing Bruce Willis in like these later movies as well. Can I think of another Bruce Willis movie? No, Die Hard 4. But interesting, because it's like, then you have sort of like this uh, voice acting career. But anyway, uh, the Spider-Man one was funny. Um, it was a video game ride where you um, had to fight these spiders and you basically, it was a VR video game, but you were in a, anyway. Let me pull this one, this bad boy out. All right, and then I'm gonna play. <laughs> So the woman is the computer, and then you can hear him. <laughs> he 
J'ai contacté Spiderman. Wait, so. Obviously, she was contacting him. In that moment, um, again, kind of funny. Also, another Peter, because we can't get away from Peters. Um, and then I had another example. Again, just one more thing. Um, <laughs> yeah, it was interesting. They had, a, again, you know, like it was a video screen that you're actually watching, but, you know, in set and a set. So it seemed kind of real. Um, both of the place, uh, both uh, Disney, Disneyland Paris, and then uh, what was this called? Disneyland Studios, I guess, but it was right next door. Um, that had the Marvel and uh, 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 campus stuff and some other things. Um, they both had like drone shows at night where they would project stuff. One was on the castle, uh, the Cinderella castle, and then one was on the Hollywood T Tower of Terror. I'm going to use Um, and so they would project stuff on it and then there'd be drum shows. So, you know, people would wait till like, because it's summer, we had to wait till like oh, almost 11 o'clock to watch it. Um, but you know, again, fun. And again, I'm sorry about the quality, but I can release these again in our, our Discord and whatnot, but. I'm going to use the Disney Highway one. <laughs> That's me laughing because I don't know, I thought it was funny. Just. Like, where are the drones, Jen? Where are the drones? Well, where are they? Okay. So, yeah, they would do all this interesting stuff. So, and they did, they did like basically every character in the Avengers. Um, <laughs> me excited for Captain Marvel. Uh, and then they would do like, you know, interesting light show stuff. I wish I liked Marvel more, <laughs> but. So. Fair. Yep. And then obviously, that was cool. I mean. So on and so forth. Um, man, now if they had that for gargoyles, ho ho! No, <laughs> just kidding. Made just for me. Um, <laughs> that would be the, the way to go. Oh, drones. Anyway, um, yeah, so those were my uh, recent adventures in France. Uh, you know, had a lovely time with my cousin and, um, you know, again, was very, it was very nice to see her. Uh, so I don't think we'd seen each other since before. For COVID, now I can't remember the place. Um, and yeah, it was you know obviously I was like masking indoors, and on the rides. Um, and uh, there were some other people, but not a lot. So just trying to trying to keep it all you know. How else am I gonna learn French? Um, so um, <laughs> what, what do you mean socialist? That my gargoyles love a super niche. That is also Disney. Just gonna put that out there. So okay, but now it's time. Four. Pierre. I got my items. Okay. Uh, just a little refresher. I won't go into it too long. Du -du -du. We are playing Pierre's Adventures in French, as you all know. Um, or if you don't, hello. Uh, it is a game that um, is made in three different languages currently. Pierre's Adventures in France, Peter's Adventures in English, and Pedro's Adventures in Spanish. It's made by Rocket Dog Games, uh, excuse me, it's made by Rocket Boy Games, <laughs> and you can, um, uh, it's about, I want to say it was 15 euros or $20, um, and yeah, it's, um, it does help if you know a little bit of the language, uh, but it really helps you and takes you through, um, you know, uh, talking to people and learning new words. I've definitely learned some new vocabulary while playing it and have integrated it into my daily life, such as bon boulot good job so uh, it's been uh, very cute to play um, it you know it does seem like a little it's a goofy point and click adventure but the production value is very good as someone who works in video games so uh, our big bad who we will finally see in person this episode uh, is uh, Mortimer 
a, a, a wicked bad a sorcerer who has captured the princess uh, there in the Chateau de Neige um, that we got to with the help of our girl Lucy. I knew she was going to come back. Uh, we put our three little crystals on those pedestals and uh, took the portal. Yeah, <laughs> thank you, Tris. We're going to get him. Um, uh, you know, sorry. Oh, sorry. Some of these are a little old. Uh, yeah, we've gotten, uh, we've gotten, we, so we had three colored gems that helped us open this portal. Um, we are still looking for a couple of things. So last time we helped cure a werewolf. Um, we scared away a poor uh, vampire, Chloe, who, you know, just, you know, lost her family to her own vampirism. But anyway, <laughs> uh, we are still looking for one instrument, a screwdriver, a tournez-vous. Um, because uh, we need it to build a, a device that I think we'll actually need to beat Mortimer because never in this game do you just go to one location and then do everything there. You always have to run back and forth. But we have our cool little portal. Um, hee hee. Wait, there's the red gem. Sorry, I was like showing off of the old guy that helped us. Yeah, oh, and then our little... Oh, Oh my gosh, I hope, <gasps> do you think there's a third? So we have the, the old woman that helped us make soup, gives us free soup, and now we have this woman that gives us free werewolf medicine. Uh, this uh, uh, Socia de Marais, the uh, swamp witch. I wonder if there's gonna be a cloud witch. That would be amazing. Like, who's like maybe, um, ooh, maybe she's his mom, and so she can't like, you know, help, but have to help. Oh, anyway, getting ahead of ourselves. Um, let me start the game. Uh, please let me know about the audio. I'm important. <laughs> uh, I check really fast. The game sounds good. How does it, sorry, I guess I should say, how do I sound over it? Can you hear me? Am I super low? I don't think I, actually didn't change anything since last week, so. I probably will say it's okay. What is good? Okay, I need to be louder. Okay, thank you. Okay, the intro is louder than the entire game. I don't understand. Okay, I made myself a bit louder. Continue. Continue. Annulé. Oh, whoops. I... Annulé. Continue. Cancel. Yes, accept it. Accept retour. Okay, and we're back. Uh, we just walked through. I will, I will do it again in case you missed it last time. Walk over here, bud. Lucy's gonna be like, excuse me. See, so we got a little portal here, and boy, she just keeps it open for anybody, huh? Woo, we're back. Okay, I'm very, I'm very excited because I also have some real life props for when we need them. Okay. Yell if you see a screwdriver, because that is... <laughs> That's all that's here. I'm gonna check my audio really fast, too. <laughs> that's all that's here. I'm gonna check my audio really fast, too. Okay, that thing sounds good. All right. God, nothing like the sound of, like, people... Oh, oh okay! It's literally right here. Here's the turn... Oh, tournevis, the screwdriver. Tournevis dans l'inventaire. So now we can go back and construct that apparatus. Oh, cause you know what? I bet we can't get across without the apparatus. Right, is this as far as we can walk? Yep. Aye. <gasps> Aye. <laughs> okay, well. Nice try, Pierre. So I am sorry I did not dress like Pierre. I'm leaving in a week for the United States and my book tour and dog sitting this weekend and I have two game designers coming to stay in my place so uh, I've been cleaning you know I just it was this morning and I was like oh no um, yeah don't worry Halloween is always a good time yeah right the precarious balancing of the cloud. well hello Jess oh j'adore mon ami uh, Jessica uh, so good to see you um, this game is awesome and I need to give it to you if you haven't played it yet. I don't want to ruin it for you, but... Or if you want to learn Spanish. <laughs> All right. 
So now we're in the uh, we're in the royal kingdom, and this is the engineer's house, or excuse me, workshop, atelier. How is Pierre not related to Lucy? Because they have the same hair color. Come on, Tris. Come on. They will open the door. Or well, again, for some reason, uh, this game uh, for certain things like um, the narration in the narration, not the actual dialogue, but it's missing the, uh, um, it's missing, uh, not the pronouns, articles, sorry. Um, so it should be ouvrir la porte, because uh, in French, nouns never go naked. They always, always, always have a the, a, an, a number, uh, someone who owns it. Yeah, like there's, they always have something there. <laughs> Je vais jouer. Yes, you want to play. Yes, exactly. All right. Uh, J'ai te donné uh, le jeu, uh, Pierre, la branche de Pierre en français. I will give you the game. So, all right. Okay, here's our engineer friend. Also, again, wild, I'm gonna point out every time, fireplace above where the logs are. So everyone's got digital fire here. Mm. All right, we need to ask him the order, because I don't remember, but we do have we go to our objet. Objet. We have all the objects. We have the clay molette, the wrench, the tournevis, the wrench, and the mato, 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 the uh, hammer. But I do not remember the order because that's how I live my life. So let's talk to him. Uh, okay, wait to ask him again. Uh, okay. Tu fais uh, que, I almost said tu fais quoi, which is essentially the same thing. What are you doing? Que fais-tu aujourd'hui? What are you doing today? Que fais-tu aujourd'hui? Je construis un appareil. I'm building an apparatus. J'ai construit un appareil. Oh, oh, come on. I thought we were gonna... Okay, I guess it's over here, where we ask him to help, and he shows us the order. Or wait, or is it... Maybe it's if we just touch it with our hands. Nous n'avons pas encore ah, fini. Okay. Tu dois utiliser les outils avec l'appareil dans le bon ordre. Okay. We uh, have not finished yet. Uh, nous n'avons pas encore fini. Uh, uh, you must use the tools uh, with the apparatus um, in, the <laughs> in the good order. Tu dois utiliser l'outil avec l'appareil dans le bon ordre. So, hammer. Wrench. No, wait. Say it right. Marto. Clio mole. Don't leave. Okay. Okay, so I will grab them. Objet. And like with everything in this game, you just grab it and then push it into somebody's face or into the thing. <laughs> yep. Hammering. Excellent travail, Pierre. L'étape suivante consiste à utiliser la clé à molette. Okay, here I'm trying to memorize three steps. Good work, Pierre. Um, the next step uh, consists of us using the wrench. The tap suva consiste à utiliser la consiste à utiliser la clé à molette. All right. Objet. Sorry, I don't have uh, tools on my desk, but. Uh, <laughs> L'étape suivante consiste à utiliser le tournevis. Is this a rocket? Oh my gosh, it's a jetpack. Okay. Parfait. C'est presque prêt. Perfect. It's almost ready. Um, I say presque. I've been saying presque a lot this weekend, like with my partner and their uh, kid, because I uh, did a lot of like game prep and stuff, and I was hiding things and you know like covering eyes, and I kept saying presque, presque. Um, but l'étape suivante consiste à utiliser le tournevis. Okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. Objet. Tournevis. Science and magic! C'est fini. Bon travail. Tu es un excellent apprenti. Pour te récompenser pour ton travail, tu peux être le pilote d'essai. C'est fini. It's finished. Bon travail. Good work. You could also say bon boulot. Um, you are an excellent apprentice. Tu es un excellent apprenti. Uh, to, <laughs> to pay you for your work, you can try, you can, you can try, you can be the 
you can try being a pilot. And this is where, if you haven't seen this before, I go to Deeple just to check some things because again, I am also learning. You can be the, oh, you can be the test pilot, I bet, which is terrible. Um, SA, SA is to try, so cool. He's like, uh, yeah, to pay you for your work, uh, you can die first. Yep, to be the test pilot. <laughs> well, well, well. No, thank you. <laughs> All right. Quête terminée. Woo! Construire l'appareil. We built it. Quête terminée. So we we're almost done with. Yeah. Okay. You can't tell again because my little things in the way. But we just got an achievement. But I will show you in our journal de quête, our quest journal. Quête. Look at all these. We just finished number 12. So, I don't know what 20 is. <laughs> What's 20? Oh, I bet it's gonna be the next one's gonna be use the jetpack. And then we have Vonkle Socia Charles. Charles? His name is Mortimer. You can't show us Mortimer and then give him a first name. What? He never said Charles. So I'm gonna yell. Okay, and then Save la Princess, uh, Save the Princess. Okay, I bet 20 is jetpack. Retour. Or not. Did Charles Mortimer come on? <laughs> what is he, English? No. <laughs> oh, okay. Jetpack dans l'inventaire. Love it. There's no word for it in French. Again, sometimes with technology, marketing, uh, social media stuff, a lot of the words are the same, so, which is interesting. Oh, oh. Are you kidding? Wait, just right now? I didn't do anything. Okay. Oh, <laughs> fais attention. Tu as besoin de plus d'espace. Pierre, you live on your own. You pay rent. What makes you think you can use a jetpack indoors? <sighs> okay. Yeah, <laughs> I know. I was really hoping to be a word for jetpack. <laughs> fais attention. Pay attention. Or be careful, excuse me. Um, you need to have a lot of space. Uh, so for besoin means need, and you use it with the have verb, avoir. So tu as besoin, and you have to add de, plus de space. Plenty of space. All right, great. You idiot. Sorry, that was rude. I shouldn't have said that to Pierre. Okay. All right. Well, I guess we can use it here. What if, can we use it from the clouds? Okay, let's just go over here. Oh. <laughs> yeah. To be fair, Tris, you make a joke. Pierre's head is the hardest substance in the universe. Pierre is the French word for rock, so oh. technically, yes. I'm not, I'm not taking the dog, again, but I will pet the dog. Les murs sont assez haut. Yes, no, okay, no, pet the dog. Mm. Oh. Je dors, c'est chiant. Okay. I guess we'll try it here. I feel like using it on the cloud is the smarter thing because then we can zoom over, but let's just try it again. Same color as the wall, beautiful. Okay, so when they say we need a lot of space, they literally mean you better be in the clouds. Okay, can go, can do. All right, also, what's our food situation? Swap, okay, I'm gonna take a drink of water. Boire eau. Boire eau. It should be boire l'eau. Drink the water. Tu n'as pas besoin d'eau pour le moment. You do not need to... Do not oh my god, I hate it. Okay. And food? Do I have bread right now? Because... Objet. I do. Okay, let's eat this bread. Manger pain. Manger le pain. And that's exactly the sound bread should make. Oh no! Oh no, I should have eaten something else. Tu n'as pas besoin de nourriture pour le moment. <laughs> I've, got, I've got all my little... Let's eat something else. Objet. You know what? I don't have any of the objects in here. So, I just want everyone to know that I have all the objects Pierre normally has. I have the right colored apple, green, because red apples are terrible. I've got a tomato. I've got not one, but two euros, a two euro coin, <laughs> because that's all the money we're ever allowed to have. And of course, in the City of Shadows, we need 
our head of garlic. Ah, na 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 na. Everyone at work was very confused as to why I was buying these very specific things today. And I was like, I'm gonna make a delicious salsa. <laughs> okay. I'm in two euros. Um, okay. <sighs> to Lucy. Oh wait, let's get more bread because we didn't actually have a lot more food. Excuse me, free bread connection. Or, you know what, just, I don't think Jess has seen this. So we helped, uh, mm, Chloe? No. But we helped this, uh, we found her necklace um, on her own farm at her dad's and then gave it back to her. So now we get free bread for life. Bonjour, je m'appelle Pierre. Qui êtes-vous? Very rude to say. Who are you? Bonjour, je m'appelle Pierre. Qui êtes-vous? <laughs> je suis Sophie, Sophie, la fille du fermier. Pierre, tu es mon héros. Oh. Logre était tellement maléfique. So, nothing else happens and it's a slow news week. Everyone still remembers the ogre that I vanquished in like episode two. Four episodes ago. Je, I am Sophie, the daughter of the farmer. Pierre, you are my hero. That ogre was very scary or, uh, okay. Uh, are you selling bread? Bon, <laughs> vendu? Vendu du pain? Du pain? Oui, je voyage dans le royaume et je vends du pain. I travel um, in the kingdom and I sell bread. Voici du pain gratuit. Merci de nous avoir sauvé de l'ogre. Here is free bread. Thank you for saving us from the ogre. Okay, let's get out of here. All right. Mais tout le plaisir est pour moi. Oh, sorry. I think we said uh, merci, and she's like, no, the pleasure is all mine. Not all mine, but okay. Voilà tout. That's it. Let's go. Ouvrir porte. Oui, la porte. All right, thank you so much for stopping by, Jess. It's so good to see you. <laughs> yeah, they're gonna remember me when I come down from the. Oh, I better not crash down from the clouds. It's the scariest thing. Okay. Let me get over here. Let's aim for the correct area. Like this was just, it was on a pedestal. Like that doesn't make sense. Well, anyway, okay. Okay, the door is right there. Let's put it on. Objet. Mm -hmm. <laughs> this crater is called fear. There we go. Oh, nice. I'm glad the purple clouds are stronger than the gray clouds. We didn't blow the ground away. Good! Oh, is this a lady knight? Sorry, I'm just seeing purple and the armor. I'm just gonna check what's over here really fast. Well, 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 a plant. Quelle petite plante. Oh, what a small plant. How, okay, interesting. Oh, I don't have any water. I can't. Objet. I've got. Escargo slime, bave. So I think I bet I need to water this. Okay, make it bigger. Well, let's talk to this. Yeah. <laughs> so no joke. This was like base. I had Magorski's knight. Like. Alt. Vatan. Okay. Let's try it one more time. God magnifique. Bonjour. Je m'appelle Pierre. Je suis là pour voir le sorcier maléfique Mortemé. I am here. Um, to see the, uh, <laughs> why would we call it the Sosa Malifique Multiple? Okay, we know his name is Charles. We know this guy's whole name. Why would we call him the Terrible Sorcerer when we know his name? Like, this guy bankrolls him. We don't, ugh. Personne ne peut voir le Seigneur Mortimer. Sort d'ici! Uh, no one can see a uh, Monsieur Mortimer. Uh, leave, leave here. Sort the sea. Je suis ici pour sauver la princesse. <laughs> Open-hearted, beautiful, garlic-mouthed Pierre telling everyone exactly what he's gonna do? This guy! You're already dressed like the French flag! Like, you don't- you're not- Ha ha ha! Seigneur Mortimer va t'écraser comme un insecte! Ha Monsieur Mortimer, uh, uh, will- Ecrasse, erase you? Stomp you like an insect, probably. Um, just check old Deeple over here. 
Um, it's using, it's a reflexive verb, that's, so the T in front of it, it it's actually T-U, so talk, it's, he will do it to you. He is going to, that's what the va is. T ekase, no, nope. how about I spell it right? Will crush you. Ekase, okay. Well, gotta write that down because that's a new word for me. <laughs> ekase. Okay, and still no... No other uh, quest? All right, well, I'm gonna go get water and feed that plant because again, I know a quest when I see one. Oh, okay. Okay, I feel like I could just jump right there. Okay. Um, take it back over, buddy. Exactly what I was thinking because it's it's a magical vine. Objet. Remplir bouteille. Fill the water bottle. Actually, can I get rid of this? I wonder if I need two things with water. Objet. Boire bave d'escargot. Gosh, please don't do anything to me. Remplir bouteille. Okay, so I just made the other guy remember he thought it was tequila, so okay. Ouvrir porte. <laughs> ah, salut, Kyla. Alright, we've got our portal, we've got our water, we're gonna water that vine, get into the castle, you know. You know what I didn't try with that uh, scary guard? is I did not try to use my sword, which is how I do everything in this game. Oopsie. I was supposed to fight him first, but... Okay. Got our jetpack. And our helmet, thank you. Safety first. I'm trying to get into this castle, mom. That's where the princess is. Arroser plante. Arroser la plante. Uh, water the plant. Which is also what uh, I do at home with my plants. Oh, I should show you this next time. Yeah, boy. Okay. And we don't have any honey, but I don't think we need it because it's got these leaves. So let's climb. Grimper plante. Grimper la plante. Climb the plant. Let's go. Yeah, uh, <laughs> mom, this has gotten wild. Where this, I'm gonna beat the game this time, I think. And then I won't, I'll know all French once I 100% this game. Uh, go, walk, hurry, get out. Keep going, keep going, keep going, buddy. <laughs> no, whoa, no! <laughs> Okay, so uh, this is a timing situation. Yeah, <laughs> thank God, more water. Um, I also see what, what's in those barrels. Grimpe. We'll probably have to wait for him to, to walk one way and then, or to go through the door. I assumed he was in, in the doorway, so, okay. Here. Come over here, I wanna see what. Tu es très beau, Pierre. No, not that. The tonneau. Il n'y a rien à l'intérieur des tonneaux. There's nothing inside the barrels. Okay. Okay, well, let's go over here. Okay, that is a big door. 
il y a une grande porte verrouillée no. au bout du couloir. Espérons que la princesse se trouve derrière. <rire> What? Wait. OK, it is a big locked door à bout de courrier. OK. And it says Esperon. We hope. Who is we here? Is <rire> <laughs> Who's the we narrator? Okay, we hope the princess is hidden behind, or we'll find her behind. Okay. Um. Yeah, I'm honestly like, let's jetpack there. <laughs> let's try the door. Just... Okay. All right. Tu devras trouver la clé si tu veux ouvrir le cadenas de cette porte. The cadenas? Sorry, I look this word up. Uh, you must, uh, or you have to, te devra trouver, find the key if you want to open the handles? The, looks like Spanish, honestly. The padlock. Where did I put my. Oh well, okay. Beep, 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 beep. Le. Cadenas. Cadenia, sorry. <laughs> I'm already. Mm. Spanish takes over. Okay. Okay. All right. Again, mysterious we that's watching us. No. It also looks like a clown's face. Okay. I wouldn't know if it was. All right. Let's try to jetpack it. I was trying to hear if the sound moved from one ear, head, ear set to the other, but it doesn't. Let's grab Oopsie. our sword. Put it in your hand, buddy. and then I'm going to try to jetpack because again I don't even know where we're climbing Grimper yeah. plante <laughs> We're going to jetpack once we're in there though This plant is here for a reason though even though we didn't, maybe we use it to get out because we can't jetpack with two people <laughs> Oh no, oh no, no, oh no, I'm right, I'm under the, oh no, I'm under. Oh, oh no, okay. No! No, what are you, a tram? You can only go on this one track? Or a train. Okay. No, you're right, Espelon is a... Uh... it could be because you can also use on to mean we like the casual we but then you would use uh you would conjugate the verb um espel so like we hope but yeah it could be like let us yeah it could be just like let us hope but is uh, uh formal okay all right i feel like what if we just use a sword here really fast Art. i feel like we st I feel like we still Art. Attends. We steal this guy's uh, objet. His look, his whole vibe. Attaquer garde. Attaquer le garde, oui. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Listen, it. That's cute that you think I know everything in subjun subjunctive. <laughs> uh. Grimper plan. Okay, I'm thinking, I'm 
thinking. Boire eau. Tu n'as pas besoin d'eau. Félicitations, tu n'es pas un vampire. Uh, congratulations, you are not a vampire. <laughs> It does not realize you're the number one Pierre that could be. Ooh, you know a bribe. I, I've tried bribing everyone, uh, and I haven't tried these guys, so maybe this is the Objet. one place that works. Let me take my... Ding, ding, ding. Two euros. Alt! Vaton! Not interested. Stop, poor person. Alright, alright, alright. Grimpe. I'm not going to look up what this quest is. So while he's climbing, I will show you some other stuff that I've been reading. Uh, Le Sistels, La Mag, with Bande Dessinée, Jus, and Delight. So it's got uh, comics, some uh, stories, uh, recipes. So, and it's for eight years old, people that are eight years old. Um, there's stickers, and I'm, I'm gonna do the games also. I should, maybe I could stream that. I don't know if that would be interesting at all to anyone, but. You know, they're very cute. There's a lot of these types of magazines here, which obviously I want to draw for. Um, so, and they sell these at tobacco shops. No, with magazines. Okay. Oh, you know what I did not do with the plant? Come. Oh, I. I wonder if I can grow it more. Yeah, let's go back down, buddy. Let's try to water it again. Objet. La plante n'a plus besoin d'eau. The plant does not need water. Okay. Oh, does it get short again? Okay. Grimper plant. Let's go. He's just go so much better than I'm gonna say most of us. Uh, I don't want to like exclude anyone that was uh, really amazing at the rope ladder, but. Objet. Let's look at our objects. Whistles for the boat. We've got a jetpack. Maybe I wear I put on the jetpack right when I get there and I go on the other side of him. Or do I tr maybe I try to fight him? Maybe the thing is I fight him, but I do it while he's uh, facing away from me, which I was trying to wait till he turned around. So, um, yeah, I could try to grab one. Uh, we haven't been. Uh, let's see. Let's light this place on fire with the princess in it. Uh, nope, I cannot pick it up. Hmm. Attaquer gar. Qui es-tu Dégage de là Oh Dégage de là. 
don't know how we didn't get this before. I think I must have like triple clicked. Okay, let's see. Uh, remove yourself? Kievu. Well, I don't. Oh, okay. Well, so it just falls itself. Okay. Do you think we get these guys? We give these guys the Bave Escal go? Obzi. Like, they don't have a lot of options up here. Art! Vatan! Skit. Skit. I did just very quickly Google 20th quest, Peers of Interest in French, Steam, Reddit, A Brief History by Rocket Dog and Rocket Boy, and then my own videos on this. Okay, that's not helpful. <laughs> Great. Okay. Retour. I'm I'm thinking Bave uh, de Escargot. Have I thought about the hint book? No, Tris, I am so close. I am not doing it. I'm sorry. I'm going back to the US. I gotta save my save Oopsie. my money. <laughs> okay, you know what? Now that we've been here though, maybe we have to go so this is what happens every time is um we'll go somewhere, we'll see something, and then we can go speak to someone else and they'll be like, oh here's more info, so Let's go talk to the engineer. Let's go talk to Lucy and see what they say. They might have more information. The hint book. Tris, how dare you? I thought we were friends. Hey, girl. Thanks for that. Chauve saucé, the bat. Maintenant, tu peux utiliser le portail pour aller au château des nuages. Yeah, I know. Now you can use the portal to go to the castle in the clouds. I know, did you not just see me step out of it? Parle avec l'ingénieur. Si tu as des problèmes, pour te rendre au château. Uh, speak with the engineer if you have problems uh, getting to the, the castle. Yeah, I know. All right, well, let's let him know that it's working. Ouvrir porte. Ouvrir les portes. Hey boo. Parle-moi du jetpack. Tell me about the jetpack. Oh, okay. Félicitations, mon élève. Maintenant, <rire> tu peux être le pilote d'essai. Mais fais attention, tu as besoin de beaucoup d'espace pour l'utiliser. Ok, I need that. Ok. Congratulations, my student, mon élève. Uh, I don't know why there's a... It's not the normal word for student, but I know this one. Now you can be the test pilot. Okay, again, yes, we already knew that. But be careful, you need a lot of space. Yep, I... So nothing new! Dang it. Okay. There's just so little in this game wrench that's timing-based. Let's see. Not you. Well, I'm plugged you anyway. Bah, il y a qu'une chose ou deux utiles dans les magasins. What? <laughs> there is only one or two <laughs> things, uh, <laughs> useful things in these stores. She's never said that before. Well, let's go in here. Not again that we can afford anything, but let's go. Ouvrir porte. Let's sell you the jetpack. Comment puis-je t'aider? Nope, okay, we can't. Parfume. Cup, bowl. Retour. Okay. <sighs> uh, 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 uh. 
Okay, so when I click on the soldier with my sword, it basically pauses the game and then it lets Pierre, it, it basically stops time. It's like an attack, like in Dungeons and Dragons or any TTRPG. So it gives me my little six seconds for my turn. So I guess if they're facing the other way, which I can see based on where the feet are. Also, tu as besoin de manger. Also, whoops, look at, look at this, I'm breaking the game. He's stuck between the door. Um, Objet. Because I can't see the feet, I could wait till they're turned and then it would actually like let me move he would move his 30 feet or whatever. All right, let's eat that bread. Eat that Manger bread. Pain. Eat the bread in the door. Manger the pain. Let's get this food to her. Tu n'as pas besoin de nourriture. More bread, please. Ventu. Oui. Sorry, we already saw it. This game, so. Tout le plaisir. Tout le plaisir et moi. Oh wait, let's fill it. Nope. Oh no, I still have one with water. Well, let's just drink it while we're here. Boire eau. I will also refill my water. Tu n'as pas besoin d'eau pour le moment. Parfait. Okay. The one looking weird. Okay. Ouvrir. I can hear the dog in here. Okay. I'm gonna hold my garlic for good luck. Pain. Objet. Entre de bonnes mains, Pierre. I'm sorry. <laughs> Good hands. Hello, Jane. So we are in this and we're in the castle of the clouds. Uh, and we are trying to get past these guards. We think uh, you are between. The good hands? What? Oh, you are in good hands. Oh, okay. Okay. What? Okay. That's not what I'm trying to say. Get over here. Okay. Grimper plante. Grimper la plante. Climb the plant. We think that it might have a timing based thing, which is very, again, odd to add at this point in the game because nothing else has been timing based. Order of actions? Yes. My grandma's. Objet. Oh yeah, there is this this thing here, so I can see him. Okay. Oh no, I missed it. Okay. This platform, so you can watch. Okay. Looks like it's here. Didn't let me do it. Okay. <laughs> Front door guard is terrible. Do it from here? Oh my gosh. Nope. Ugh, I'm facing the wrong way. Attaque garde. <sighs> yeah. Qui es tu? Dégage de là. Hit him again! Pierre, why you give okay. Now I try it again. music <laughs> it's 
Sorry, also someone's practicing how to use a motorcycle in the parking lot next to me. So if someone's comes crashing through, you'll know why. <laughs> No, I think it's Bave Escargo. I think we make them a slip. He literally cannot see me here. Nope, yeah. Attaque garde. Escargo slime. We'll, we'll make him slip. Qui es -tu? Dégage de là. We throw it on here. Yep, okay. Get me out of here. This guy's the worst. Okay. Objet. Everyone has their own pier style snacks. Are you eating an apple, a bulb of garlic, a tomato like it's an apple? I wish I could use this to get where I need to go. <laughs> uh, escargo. Nope, I think that's the easiest just by myself. I don't think he can get me there any faster. The uh, missile on the boat. It's essentially just two places. Mm. Oh, I guess. Mm, no, I don't know if he shows up there. No, well, whatever. <laughs> Do all the time, Jane. Your favorite snack is a tomato, like it's an apple. Yep. There's the house we help build that no one is uh, appreciating. I guess that's fun. Love that for us. Alright. Then we go here. Well, well, well. Guess what hasn't dried up yet? Objet. Remplir bouteille avec bave d'escargot. Fill. Remplir la bouteille. Fill the bottle with. Snail slime. Mm. Go, go, go. Alright, we can go this way and use these boat services. That's fine. Barely quick enough. There are the kids playing ball. Come on. Où veux -tu aller? We wanna go. Large <laughs> uh, the Royal Kingdom. La ville du sud. Allons-y. Allons-y. Utilise le sifflet si. Use the whistle if you would like his, uh, his help traveling again. We helped him get better two episodes ago. Keep on hoofing it, Pierre. Okay. Alright. Ouvrir porte. These people right here are never going shopping. They're just gonna talk forever. Again, it's a lot to design a city and a level, but man, I would I would I don't know, I might do a two-day cycle for something for a game this long. Bye Lucy. Or I I mean again, that's what I would do if I had all the time and the money, so. Objet. Ton jetpack. Has anyone else bought this game in any of the languages? It's okay if the answer is no. Um, also, you've been watching a lot of it, but. Or I know one of you would buy it if it was in. Was it Ukrainian? So you want to. What you wanted to learn? Grimper plante. Grimper le plante. <laughs> the lunge jump. Right. Okay. 
objet. Bave d'escargot. Qui es-tu Non one impossible you have to buy the hint book i refuse and i will mute this music it. if it gets annoying n'a pas besoin d'eau pour le moment. Ce n'est pas une bonne idée. It's not a good idea. Okay. Objet. Ce n'est pas une bonne idée. Objet. Ce n'est pas une bonne idée. Objet. Ce n'est pas une objet. Ce n'est pas une. I'm gonna have to get that. No, I'm not getting that hint book. I'll just end this stream early and then we'll have another week. All right, let me think. Objet. Let me think. I'm the number one peer. This is the map of the. Regardez. Retour. Nope. Objet. Sword. Hammer. Net for fishing. Ticket to the city of shadows. Shovel I used to find some gems. Whistle for my whistle for a cab when it came. Uh, whistle for my uh, boat. A lighter that I used to light the candles. Two euros. A fish I didn't fry yet. A mirror that I got from a vampire. A wrench. Oh! I didn't try to use any tools on that door, though. Let me just try over there really fast. I'm sure the thing I have to do is up here, but I want to just see. Cat. Retour. Objet. Cela ne marche pas. Sweet. Will not work. Objet. Well, let me try this bad boy. Cela ne marche pas. Objet. Me, let me try the old hammer. <laughs> Cela ne Okay, cool. Okay. What if I use. Oh no! It's the. It is the jetpack. I have to Objet. use the jetpack right when he's turned around, and then I'll jetpack on the other side of him. It's gotta be that. If it's not fighting, if it's not slime. It's gotta be the jetpack again. Even though I thought the jetpack from here would work. Qui es -tu? No! No, I'm one step up! Okay. <laughs> Thank you, Jess. That was fast. Okay, alright. I'm gonna eat a cracker with the sound off for a second. Climb up that plant. Grimper plante.
miss the cracker beam. <laughs> so dry. <laughs> okay. Alright. One thing. So, Pierre, you've got to work out more. Those knees are not taking it. Okay. Can I follow behind him? C'est possible? But there, there's no space to get past him. Okay, let's try it. Grimpe. as a game designer at how late time-based mechanics are being added to this game. What if his name is Pierre? He's the number one Pierre. Now, what do you want to try? You want to try the trophy first or Objet. the mirror? We've got our number one Pierre. Regardez trophy. à Pierre, première place, le meilleur aventurier du monde. Is there a rope? Oh, hello. Um. No, we got a rope once. We tied it to a tree. We then used honey on our hands to climb up it instead of making knots in the rope. Uh, and now we can't get it down from the tree. So, we're either gonna try, I mean, we're gonna try both, but do we wanna try the mirror or the number one Pierre trophy? Qui est ce bel aventurier? Adventure. Oh, that's cute. Who is the most handsome adventurer? That's nice. Alright. Um, hello, Barry. Yes, this is Regardez. a, a non-standard uh, D&D. Uh, we're actually Retour. playing a game called uh, Pierre's Adventures in French. I am one of the D20 dames. Uh, and I've been playing this game uh, in French to help learn French. It is a fun, silly, point-and-click adventure. So. Alright. Objet. We're trying to get past a knight right now. Um, so what do we want to use? The mirror or the number one pier? Alright. No one's, no one's responding, so okay. Okay. <laughs> oh yeah, there's definitely enough English for you to enjoy. And I'm translating as well because uh, a lot of people I know here uh, know Spanish. <laughs> um, okay. Grimpe plante. Grimpe la plante. Climb the plant. It's also a, a game to learn French too, so it's pretty simple. Look at those forearms. Go! Almost got it behind him. I yeah. I guess I could try again. Very unclear as to what you're supposed to do when you're brought. Um, Objet. Knock him. Shovel him. Shovel knight. <laughs> I'm translating. 
uh, this French into English. So because I am learning French uh, since I moved to France recently. Um, it's part of our downtime with the dames where we're also playing other games. Uh, Kat's been doing some solo RPGs on Mondays and then Kat and I have both been uh, also doing some crafting. Kat's made some um, origamini. I said that wrong, I'm sure. And then I've been making some miniatures as well, but uh, just, you know, playing out, playing, doing some different stuff with the stream. Okay. Okay, let's just get behind him. again um kyla we have our next brindlewood bay session where we play uh, the ttrpg brindlewood bay we will have that on this sunday at 10 a.m pacific noon central um so that's what i thought i was trying to do with the mirror social so i was trying to put it behind like so when he turned around um but maybe oh maybe i need to click it on me no i was trying to click it on him we'll try it again my timing is off for sure um, yay, Jane! Um, our f character creation episode plant. of Brindlewood Bay is supposed to go live today, which I guess, um, and we'll do a, uh, we'll obviously do like a before, uh, or during, at the beginning of Brindlewood Bay uh, on Sunday, we'll do a little recap of what's happened before. Our I mean, it was like her very first stream, so, and also... Um, Gurumi. Wow, thank you. Sorry, I'm saying it wrong. Um, um, Gurumi, uh, that was also the very first time she streamed, and she didn't download the video, and I forgot to download it too, so it is lost to the ether. But there are pictures. Okay. Are we like Dimension 20? We're like Dimension 20, but all femme presenting, tu as besoin de manger. and, uh, without the budget. <laughs> <laughs> I'm hungry. I'm gonna eat this raw fish. Le poisson est cru. Tu dois le faire cuire. The fish is fresh. You have to cook it. Tu dois le faire cru. Okay. What a cool thing to learn. And I can't cook it on this torch I can reach. Objet. Um. So Barry, uh, we are a. Uh, sorry, I'm just gonna tell you. Who, um, D20 Dames is a. Uh, Manger oh. pain. Manger le pain. Eat the bread. We are a uh, tabletop uh, podcast. Tu n'as pas besoin de nourriture pour le moment. Sorry, we um, we're a podcast primarily, um, and we recently started streaming again. And we do have some live shows. We had our first um, campaign, the Good Fortune campaign, was almost four years long, uh, and um, we are a um, all femme presenting, uh, mostly. Uh, Femmes of Color, a family-friendly podcast. And uh, we had our most recent uh, new campaign, Wanderleaf, just ended, um, but it's available wherever podcasts are free. I'll give you the link to our website. But uh, we, all, we all play teens uh, in a new, in a new um, um, excuse me, a new world that we have created, again, using uh, d, d mechanics. Uh, and so you can listen to it. But uh, we also started, we have a streaming adventure we're doing on Sunday, uh, Sunday uh, called Brindlewood Bay, where we all play grandmas in this little murder society. Well, we're solving murders. Um, and thank you, yes, thank you, Jane. Uh, Kat Kruger is our dungeon master for the Good Fortune campaign of Wonderleaf. Uh, I have been uh, playing the keeper uh, for Brindlewood Bay, but our other two, uh, we also have uh, Jess Ross, um, who is also a TTRPG uh, game designer um, and editor, um, who's amazing as well and uh, runs adventures sometimes. Uh, Brittany Lee Lianage, uh <laughs> yes, Jess Ross. Barry, are you a plant? Oh, dip a different Jess Ross, yeah. But a better Jess Ross. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> um, yes, that's right, Jess right there. Different Jess Ross, yeah. Barry, you're gonna like our Jess Ross more. I'm gonna, I'm gonna bet you two euros. <laughs> um, 
Uh, yeah, but I put our website in the chat, and then yeah, we're available again on Spotify, uh, the Apple Store, Google Play, so anywhere. Um, and so yeah, we have five years of stuff you can listen to, or you can just listen to our most recent uh, campaign, which is what, 13 episodes? Uh, and it's a lot of fun, or 14. Um, yeah, and uh, we have done some stuff for like um, uh, Watsi, we've done some D&D Live, like in LA, and we've also uh, done some stuff for the, now I'm forgetting the name of course, but um, in November and December when we do uh, fundraising for Children's Hospital. Uh, we also uh, help fundraise with that, a lot of fundraising stuff. Um, actually, we've done some stuff for races in the past, uh, and some trans youth. Okay, but anyway. Okay. I am, I'm gonna... <laughs> we'll probably watch it live. Uh, is it funny, light, fairly dark? What an interesting question. We, in general, are funny, light people. The campaign, Brindlewood Bay, is actually... Uh, it likes to do both. So because you have these grisly murders, but then the there's a concept of the cozy place in Brindlewood Bay. So there's um, where each character has like their, um, this place in their home where they do like their activities. So it actually kind of, it straddles both, honestly. Yeah, sorry, we're gonna do so okay. Um, when will we see more of the Wanderleaf characters in the future? Uh, you will see some very soon, some very slow artist has been working on some merchandise for uh, our campaign um, and uh, we will be uh, I cannot say um, exactly uh, what our next uh, campaign will be yet um, but uh, we have been talking about it so yes Barry so I guess yeah the plot can be dark but the players are pretty light and we um, again we don't do really any cursing though so i feel like dimension 20 can go like you know uh not off the rails but you know they're doing some adult stuff we tend to make up our own stuff um jane i can't <laughs> you're asking the same question two different ways <laughs> sorry you're like so are you gonna do a new camp that you can continue the old campaign or continue in a... sorry i cannot say but part of the reason we're doing brindlewood bay is to give people you know my cat like um, a little bit of a break uh, creatively um, with that um, also you know she's doing other stuff outside of uh, d20 games and also I really wanted to run Brindlewood Bay so uh, because it's a great game which again if you haven't uh, uh, um, let's see oh yeah do we have our fr family friendly flag somewhere all ages yeah um, Brindlewood Bay uh, I will also, I'll be making the character creation YouTube live. I'm just gonna do it now because we're here. We're talking about it. Uh, and the episode will be going live any minute now. Um, any minute, um, but today. So I will make the character creation episode live on our YouTube. So in case you'd prefer to watch it there, you can. Uh, Cause it's currently set as private. Public, okay. Uh, no, not that one, sorry. This one. Oh, it is, sorry, it is public. I'm a silly, I'm a silly Billy Goat Gruff. Okay, well here is the first episode where we're creating characters. Dee -dee -dee. We're creating characters and talking about the rules of the game. Uh, Brindlewood Bay, um, in Brindlewood Bay, I am the game master, um, Kat Kruger is our game master for our main campaigns or for Good Fortune and for Wanderleaf. I used to have my own show called Jen Vaughn's Big Dungeon Show where I was always the game master, but I've recently moved for a job. Uh, so uh, I am not currently running a game other than Brindlewood Bay. I will say the thing I like about BB, sorry, I feel like Brindlewood Bay is very long. Um, this just music is really helping. Brindlewood Bay is fun because there, uh, in the adventure, there's no set bad guy. You have like six to eight characters who are considered the suspects, and based on the clues you dole out to the players, they have to construct a theory, and then based on how well they roll um, in their theorized part of the stage or theorized part of the game, it determines whether or not they are correct, which I think is brilliant and fun because sometimes when you're designing a TTRPG adventure you know 
or when you're playing rolling it and playing it you can be too obvious with like who the bad guys might be so i think this is a fun way um <laughs> very i'm gonna i'm not sure what you mean by non-professionally we make money off of this we've all gotten several jobs off of this so i'm a game designer in real life I work at a video game company. I've also worked at se uh, several TTRPG companies. Uh, so has Kat and Jess. So I think I think you could say we do do it professionally. Do we do it full time professionally? Uh, no, not currently. But um, yes, we are professionals. So, but we also don't live. Uh, we also don't live in LA. Um, we all have day jobs in game design. So we uh, yeah we are game design professionals. So. All right, I'm gonna get back to this video game. Oh boy, what a sound. Yay. Qui es -tu? Oh no. Oh. Dégage de là. All that, all that. I talked for so long. Run, run, run. Okay, we're gonna come back over here. Um, sorry, Barry, just, uh, <laughs> something I designed? Uh, yeah, um, there's an adventure. Grimper plante. Grimper la plante. Uh, Jess Ross and I actually both worked on some of it together. We worked on Dead Man's Scarred Lands, Dead Man's Rust, from Onyx Path. Uh, chapter two was a really big part. Uh, was all was ours where we built this Broadreach Horizon village, um, where these half elves, half dwarves lived. Um, I made a bunch of cults, uh, some beautiful musical cults. So here you go. Here's something I've designed. And also, if you go to our burr, 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 our webpage, Marketplace, there's a lot of, of the adventures that we've designed. Sorry, I'm just gonna do this here. Aw, oh, thank you, uh, Jess. Thank you for showing, yeah. Um, so yeah. And, get, and you can get our stuff uh, and try it out. Or if you want to listen to the podcast and see how you feel, yeah, give it a whirl. We're not for everyone, and that's fine. But we have a good time, so. <laughs> All right. Although, technically, right now, I'm having a terrible time this game. Okay. Just the lowest step. We get Obje. the mirror out. Félicitations, tu n'es Qui es-tu Dégage de là. Oh. So upset with this silly freaking game. Oh dang Barry. <laughs> You're very nice. Thank you. Grimper plante. Grimper la plante. I'm doing the pier. I'm doing the pier. I got to. I'm gonna take out my number one pier trophy that I have used in this game as identification. I'm gonna try to... Ce n'est pas une bonne... Okay, it's not a good idea. <laughs> Andy, how dare you? <laughs> okay, so I will say there's a sticky moment up here where I think if I get over here, get behind him, and then don't click anything, he doesn't see me, but I keep hurriedly trying to click past him. So, I wish there was a tackle button. Um, I'm like, is there a tackle button? No. Utilisé. Oh my God, is this the one time I touch someone and I push him? say in this whole game you're not allowed to touch people oh my gosh no nope. es okay. de là every time you touch someone it says impolite seven would tackle him 
grimper. Yeah, I'm gonna sneak, sneak, and then be impolite. Thank you, Wrenchful. That's a great way of putting it. Ultra. Again, sorry you haven't watched this for the 400th time. Now I know how real video game streamers feel about <laughs> having to do the same chunk over and over again. Okay, nope. Come over here. Oh my god, you know what I haven't tried is talking to him. C'est proche. Quel dommage! Grimpe. Grimpe le plan. Sorry, I'm like seeing it's getting dark outside. Oh, come on. Too. It must be an auto school of Pousse Gar. Oh, we did it! Say <laughs> <laughs> impoli indeed. Oh my gosh. That took way too long. Okay. Alright, so we finally got to use our hands and we murdered somebody. Oh my gosh, that took forever. I'm so sorry. Everybody. Quel boli. Je me demande s'il appartient à morte mère. <laughs> what a nice bed. Uh, you ask yourself if it belongs to... If it belongs to... Okay, hold on. We go, we go. Je me demande ce qu'il y a dans cette armoire. Alright. I'm sorry, Rhett. He literally... You just pushed him over the side, and it was literally like... I think his, like, little avatar just went over and then was like, ah, it didn't even, like, there was, it was not, it was in, in the, in the way this game has been working. Okay, Jamie, Dante, I wonder, who is, okay, who is I? I'm sorry, our narration has suddenly changed to I. This is, I wonder what's in this. Okay, oh, okay, that's what they've been saying. Okay, well, let's use our hands. Let's open this bad boy up. Okay. L'armoire est verrouillée. Great. The the l'armoire is locked. Okay, let's. Ce n'est pas ton lit. It's not your bed. Well, I don't care. Ce n'est pas ton lit. Okay. We... Tu ne peux pas déplacer le tapis. Okay, you cannot move the rug. Okay. Tu as besoin de boire. Okay. Oh no. Oh, no. Objet. Boire eau. Boire eau. So is there nothing in here we can use? Hold on, let's look at this picture. Great. Tu n'as pas besoin de... Great picture, by the way, of the place you are currently standing in. Ce château est moche. La peinture dans ta chambre est bien mieux. Wait, ce château est moche? <laughs> ugly! This castle is ugly. Le pont dans ta chambre est très bon. The picture in your room is way... is much better. <laughs> Okay. Yeah, I'm really getting angry over here. Lustre, the chandelier. So there's literally nothing in here. We came in here. Wait, no, wait. We have objet. Let's oh, let's use these tools. No, nothing. Objet. I refuse. We are opening this bad boy up. Okay, nothing. Objet. Let's get a sword out because we use a sword for everything in oh my gosh. Objet. Uh let's try the screwdriver. No. Make sure I'm not like Objet. Let's light it on fire. Tu ne peux pas. You cannot do that? Okay. Are you kidding me? 
Oh wait, let's see if we can walk anywhere. This better not be it. I'm gonna be so livid. Sit over here. S'asseoir sur fauteuil. Sit on the armchair. Mm. Ah! Le lustre est descendu. And now we climb up. The chandelier has descended. Oh, thank God. I knew there's something. Fais attention. Le feu brûle. Well, blow it out, buddy. With water that I have. Objet. With slime. Cela ne marche. Cela ne marche. Okay. Fais attention. Le feu brûle. Mm. Does it have to be water? Okay, let's see. C'est un très beau lustre. It's a very beautiful chandelier. Okay. There's no blow in this game. Can I talk to it? No. One candle is out. I will say. Okay, I can walk through the chandelier and not catch on fire, but I can't hold on to it. Fais attention. Oh, oh no, wait. We're gonna use our sword to blow this out, I bet. We're gonna cut the tops of the candles off. Objet. Because that's how this game works. Cela ne marche pas. You are Cela ne... kidding me. Objet. We removed a feather from a chicken with our sword. Why can't we cut these off? Okay. Um. Cela ne marche. Okay, well, let's light this one on back up then. Objet. I refuse. Okay, three are out. Let's light. Allumer bougie. Light the candle. Cela ne marche pas. Cool. So now we've lit them all on fire, and we. Fais attention. <laughs> le. F okay, let's sit back over here, I guess. S'asseoir sur feu. Can we open this now? L'armoire est verrouillée. Oh man. Ce n'est pas ton lit. It's not your bed. All right. Loving this. <laughs> oh, thank you, wrench. There is a wa <laughs> There is water down there. You're right. Sorry, I was thinking I would have to go all the way back to. You're right, because uh. Here's the other wild thing. He fell on the front of the castle where that other guy's watching. He didn't hear his buddy fall. There's no clock. No one's coming to get me. Move the camera, please. Wild. Objet. Remplir bouteille d'eau. Remplir la bouteille d'eau. Fill the water bottle. Nothing would surprise me, but okay. Now that I've. Étendre bougie dans le lustre. <sighs> okay, extinguish the candles of the chandelier. Now that I've. Yeah. Great, now we can climb up it. I should have been able to do that with the slime, but okay. Bougie dans l'inventaire. Oh, okay. I guess I could do that too. Tu ne peux pas. No, let me climb. Tu ne peux pas. Tu ne peux pas. So, I could have taken that candle anyway, to begin with, because it wasn't lit on fire. Tu es très beau, Pierre. <laughs> Thank you. You are very handsome, Pierre. Tu es très beau. Okay, let's see. Objet. If I light them again, is it going to do anything funny because there's three now? Tu ne peux pas. Okay, well, okay, I will light them and see if this. Les bougies sont mouillées. Mouillées. Les bougies sont mouillées. Uh, wet, maybe? I don't know this word. Le bougie is candle, which is cute, like bougie. <laughs> uh, 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 
yeah, the candles are wet or wetlands <laughs> without the uh, apostrophe, okay? Cool, so we came here literally to murder a guy. I am Oopsie. not excited about that. Okay, let me just, no, I can't shovel this open. In case you're wondering, I'm looking to see if this white little aura appears around anything else, because that means I can, you know, activate it or do something to it. Cela ne marche pas. Except like that one, it says that will not work. Cool. Um, well, I wonder if this being down means I can now get into that other room. Let's go check. Maybe it was... Very upset. That I may have murdered a knight for no reason. Just so I could discover this weird thing. Oh wait, no, that just shouldn't be that one. You know where that candle might go? Is uh, on that pedestal across the way. Because there's that weird pedestal. Tu devras trouver la clé, si tu... Okay. I'm gonna go put it on that pedestal because I feel like that's what pedestals are for. Maybe there's a ghost over here. Wait, let's get more water. No, no, no. Come here, buddy. Well, that's no, fine. We'll be, we'll be right back. Because it was very weird to me that they had that pedestal and that cloud on the other side. Let's get that jetpack. Um, just to hold the uh, screwdriver. Or the tournevis. Objet. I hope there's a ghost up here, too. You are kidding me. This entire game has been pedestals. <laughs> All right, maybe we, maybe we light it by the door. Objet. Taking me all the way to the back. Oh no! Oh no! Okay. I'm just gonna walk by this guy who we. Oh my god, we really murdered that other guy. He fell. He fell all the way back Grimpe down to plan. earth. Oh my gosh. Boire eau. Don't have to hear that noise. Tu n'as pas besoin d'eau pour le moment. All right, thanks, thanks, Tris. <laughs> Pierre's gonna be so jacked. And in case you didn't see me before, I, I did try all the tools on this door, and nothing worked. So, oh. Cela ne marche. Well, then why is it activated? Look at that. Look at that. Oh my goodness. Pierre, you absolute dingus. Tu devras trouver la clé, si tu... Alright. Bon app, very sweet. Uh, I think I... Wrench, I'll try it, but... I think he saw me, you know, try to activate the candle around stuff, and it, but maybe, you know, we've already killed someone. I tried to light the uh, wardrobe on fire, or l'amois, uh, with my lighter, and nothing happened as well, so. See, I can't put it down anywhere. Ce n'est pas une bonne. All right. Je me demande ce qu'il y a dans. Yeah, I, I, 
wonder what's in there too. Objet. <laughs> Cela ne marche. I definitely like this came down when we sat in this chair. We have to. Do you think? Do you think in this tower there's enough room to use the jetpack? Tu ne peux. This looks like a key right here. Tu ne peux. Ce n'est pas. Um. Do we try just the handle? Yes, I have, but I will do it again. Ouvrir armoire. Oh my god, it happened! <laughs> oh no! I did it when it just came down. Oh my gosh. Another portal. Thank you, wrench. Well, I don't like the look of this portal. Entre dans le portail. Pierre, je suis Pierre. <laughs> Objet. We have like a a nega universe Pierre, Pierre Maléfique. No, I'm glad you did too. Nouvelle quête, vaincre Pierre Maléfique. I knew it. <laughs> Il y a une carte sur Take it. Take that. Take that map. Carte dans la Wait. This is the same thing we have. Oh, he is also thirsty. Oh, this is C'est une peinture d'un homme à l'air sinistre. Serait-ce Mortemer Ce n'est pas ta chambre. Maybe we don't feed ourselves and see what happens. Okay, we're thirsty. Okay. Objet. Let's show them. Je m'en fous de ça. Je m'en fous de ça. I love this voice. I don't care about that. All right, calm down, me. Uh, Objet. Let's show them the trophy. Oh yeah, check this out. You Je m'en fous de ça. All right. <laughs> let's, let's go through all the stuff. Tu ne peux pas ouvrir le tiroir. Okay. Yo! How is he better at us than Pierre this? Pierre Maléfique se déplace si vite. Se déplace si vite is so fast, but I'm not... How, are we gonna have to go back to the guild and learn how to fight ourselves? Uh, oh, move so fast. Okay. Well, let's go out this door. Hey, 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 no, no. Can't get out of here. Yes, the entire game! <laughs> Eat that corn, though. This is all in reverse, too. Okay. Let's see what our friend... This was our original friend, Amelia, yeah, who, who told us about the uh, princess. Oh, let's see. Amelie! Qu'est-ce qui ne va pas? What? <laughs> Pierre, tu devrais partir d'ici. Tu ne peux pas gagner. Tu es trop faible. You have to leave here. You are not going to win. You are very... Tu n'es pas Amélie. Fragile? Tu n'es pas ma meilleure amie. You are not Amy. You are not my best friend. <laughs> Je suis Amélie. Abandonne Pierre. Tu es inutile. Jamais. You're Je trouverai bientôt la princesse. Never. I will find. I will soon find the princess. Je trouverai bientôt la princesse. This is gorgeous. Hold on. Let me out. Oh, no. Okay. If you eat out there, where they. <laughs> I don't know. I'm gonna try it though. Parle-moi de Pierre Maléfique. While you're here and telling me I can't win, just why don't you monologue a bit? Il est plus puissant que toi. Désolé, petit homme. Tu vas échouer. He is more powerful than you. Sorry, little man. You are going to. Is that lose? 
Sorry, I only know the word for win. <laughs> uh, you were going to fail. Can you write that down? All right. We'll see. Au revoir! <laughs> Manger maïs. Manger la magnifique masse. Maïs. La masse magnifique. Ah. Tu n'as pas besoin de nourriture. Now let's see how he feels. No, he's better. Okay. All right. Well, let's. This game's never gonna end, everybody. I'm gonna have to. We're gonna have to have another week. Whoa! Tu ne peux pas aller par là, mon ami. C'est trop dangereux. Uh, <laughs> uh, you cannot go uh, over there, my friend. It is too dangerous. <gasps> oh my gosh! This guy tried to steal our money in our world, so now he's nice in this world. Oh, c'est très bien. Merci. The nice victor. Okay, but oh, okay. Can I not move further? Well, I'm gonna try anyway. Nope. Okay. Okay, maybe I can't go much further than this. <laughs> can I eat this? Can I drink this dangerous mm, water? La rivière est rose, mais elle a quand même l'air propre et fraîche. Uh, the river is pink, uh, but it, it looks like the same uh, as the. It looks sorry. It looks like its own. Le is to look. Pulp is own. Mm. No. Okay, mm. La rivière est rose, mais elle a quand même l'air propre et fraîche. So L here is referring to it in this case, but because everything, everything is gendered in French. So sometimes in French people are speaking English, they'll say she instead of it, or her, or it, or him instead of it. Um, oh, but it still looks clean and fresh. Then why aren't we drinking it? Okay. So I can eat the corn. I'm just gonna grab some more. Maïs. Wait, can we give this guy money Objet. anyway, like before? Oh, c'est très gentil de ta part. <laughs> je n'ai besoin de rien. Oh, it's very nice on your part, but I do not need anything. Je n'ai besoin de rien. All right. How? I love this. All right. Everybody, I am very sorry to say, and by sorry to say, I love it, that this game will never end. But I'm going to have to end this tonight, because it's nine o'clock. Uh, sorry, it's uh, nine o'clock where I live. <laughs> uh, and this is where we're gonna have to end it. Uh, Pierre versus Pierre, with our nouvelle quête. Quet. Vanc, vanquish, the evil Pierre. Amazing. Retour. Absolutely unexpected. I love it. I'm like taking <laughs> screenshot, screenshot. Sorry. <laughs> um, yeah. Uh, so we're gonna have to play again. Uh, it will most likely not be next Thursday, unfortunately. Yes, maybe in two weeks. Uh, I am traveling to the U.S. Uh, as mentioned, all the time, nonstop. My new book, Girls Make Movies. Uh, is coming out on March, uh, sorry, May 23rd, and I will be uh, at Skylight Books in Los Angeles with author Mallory O'Meara, and we'll be uh, signing copies, have a little cute book plate, and yeah, I don't want to go to Seattle as well to see Jess and all the other D20 games. Uh, we will also, Mallory and I also in LA, in case you know any LA people are in LA, we will be hosting a series of movies at the Los Files Theater. Um, we'll be showing Lady Bird, um, sorry, uh, Wonder Woman, Marie Antoinette, haha, <laughs> uh, while I'm there, and then after, um, also, uh, Mallory will be, um, showing, uh, Whip It, I love it, take this in Austin, and then, um, The Farewell, and speaking to the, um, uh, the writer of the film, now I'm like, was it Lulu? Farewell. Yes, Lulu Wang uh, will be there um, uh, also for a Q&A, which is awesome. So, um, yeah, 
Uh, please uh, follow D20 Dames over on Twitter and Instagram slash D20 Dames. Please uh, enjoy our new character creation, uh, our new uh, Brenda Wood Bay. We have our character creation episode that's coming out in the podcast form. And then on Sunday, we'll be continuing our first adventure for Brenda Wood Bay, Dad Overboard, uh, figuring out the mystery of who murdered a mis um, this very rich uh, vacationer who is in Brenda Wood Bay. And um, yes, uh, thank you so much for watching. Uh, I'm sorry that we did not beat this game, but I'm super excited that Evil Pierre exists. So we will be continuing uh, very soon. Um, thank you again. Um, uh, je dois uh, tous mes amis. I love all my friends here. Um, uh, merci, à, merci à vous. Thank you. Uh, a bisou. Kisses. <laughs> Have a good night. <laughs>